Honor Club, where honor is real. It's four corner survival action time. This could be a main event on every show, but of course we still have the big one to follow. The cage match between CM Punk and Raven. And what about Chris Daniels before we get to this match? Chris Daniels and Allison Danger at ECWA in Delaware tonight, defending the ECWA title. And what nerve that guy has to send in a tape just to rub it in our faces that he's not here. But like he said, it's his destiny. He feels it'll come true on September 20th in Philadelphia, Glory by Honor 2, when he will face Samoa Joe for the ROH world title and that's a match we've waited a long time for. You're right and you know it's like the guy's not even on our show and then you have to get that reminder that because of Chris Daniels and everything he made ROH and we wouldn't be in Boston if it wasn't for him. Yada 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 yada. Whatever, I am looking forward to that match of Glory by Honor too, but right now I'm looking forward to watching Chris Saban and Jay Briscoe going at it. Chris Saban getting into this match because Homicide gave up his spot for that absolutely brutal Trent Acid match he just had, and I got a feeling Homicide would rather be in this one. Now, he's sitting in the locker room right now with a broken nose, and he's got to be sore from head to toe. What a match that was, though, but he did get his revenge on Trent Acid, so... He, he got his win back, so congratulations to Homicide, and what a... The hard fought match that was. He's got to feel good about that as we have AJ Styles squaring up against Jay. And here comes Samoa Joe. And do you realize what we have in the ring right now, Ray? The first time, maybe? And we have the NWA champion, AJ Styles, and the ROH champion, Samoa Joe, in the same ring. Very rare opportunity right here. And oh, Chris Saban messes it all up. But uh, real quick, we got to get to the stipulation. This first, it's four corner survival. That means tags are necessary, but it's one fall to a finish. None of that elimination stuff, none of that. I'll get the next fall. And second of all, the, if Samoa Joe pins either of these men to win this match, that man will never get a title shot against him. However, the winner of this match will go on and get a title shot against either Samoa Joe or Chris Daniels when ROH makes its Baltimore debut on October 16th. Okay, so let me get this straight here. Samoa Joe, if he pins any of those two guys there, which would be Saban or uh, Briscoe, right? Or AJ. Or AJ. You know what? They will we'll never have to defend the belt against them. Never. And if somebody wins this match, they'll get a match against Joe or Daniels. Uh, what, 10-16 in, in Baltimore? You got it, 10-16 when ROH makes its Baltimore area debut. As you see a stiff kick exchange between AJ and Joe, and AJ had enough. He is bailing out, and I don't blame him. See, I told you I was with it mentally. I still got it. Uh, sometimes. But we got Jay Briscoe in there right now at Samoa Joe, and I think that Jay Briscoe's got no shot in this one. Well, we thought that about his younger brother earlier tonight, and look what happened. Mark Briscoe making a name for himself real quick here. You think Jay could do the same? I don't know. I gotta say the odds are against Jay Briscoe as Samoa Joe right now dominating him with two, not the hardest kicks, but still hard enough. They were kind of more psychological game kicks on Jay Briscoe. Samoa Joe, the ROH World Champion, showing Jay that I can dominate you if I want to. I own you. You know what, really nothing against Jay Briscoe or any other competitor in this match, but I would definitely have to say all of them are under, underdogs to Joe. I mean, what a role he has been on, the ROH World Champion. Incredible. He has brought so much prestige to that title. He has brought the belt to a new level, and he is willing to defend it time and time again. But my question is, will Chris Daniels, many feel it's his destiny to become ROH champion, will he fulfill that destiny in just two weeks at Glory by Honor 2? As we have Jay Briscoe and AJ Styles, no strangers to each other in that ring right now. High backdrop by Jay. Power slam by Jay. Cover. Only a two count right there on the NWA World Champion, AJ Styles. I think when you're looking at this match, you're looking at AJ Styles, a man who could very easily take Samoa Joe and become ROH World Champion. That's why he's the NWA Champion right now. We have Chris Saban, an upcomer. He's gonna be in the field of honor. He's in this match now, but he's a guy that could easily take Joe too, or have a shot against him. And then you got Jay Briscoe, a guy just getting serious about the wrestling business again, getting his passion back again, but the odds definitely against him. What a match that would be, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe, even if it wasn't for a title one on one, that match would just be terrific. Oh, I would love to see it myself. As you see Chris Saban working over Jay with those knees, whipping Jay, and Jay ducks the clothesline, rolls him up. 
Nope, not enough. AJ quickly in. And all four men going back and forth to see who can get the pin. Saban missing the elbow. Jay missing the senton. AJ missing the knee. And we got a standoff between all four competitors. Rep Hansen trying to get control. Ooh, thank God. That was almost too quick to call there, Chris. As all four men are in a standoff right here. And the fans getting behind the ROH champion, Samoa Joe. All four men fan favorites, Chris Saban still making his name here in ROH, and he's got a great chance to do that in the field of honor coming up. Jay Briscoe looking to get established once again as they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Up and over goes Jay. Oh, he connects with that boot to Saban. Scoops him up. Sit down, Gord Buster. Drops it right down, goes for the cover. Only a two count. And let's talk about Chris Saban here, a relative newcomer here at the Ring of Honor, but he's been in some high profile matches so far, and he's definitely making a name for himself here in the Ring of Honor. You mentioned those high profile matches. Don't forget it was him and AJ Styles for that NWA world title in Philadelphia at WrestleRave. What a great match that was, and we're seeing it right now again. Styles and Saban in that ring. AJ Styles, you want to talk about it being Chris Daniels' destiny of becoming ROH world champion? I think it could be a very well be AJ Styles destiny too to become ROH world champion. AJ Styles one of the best in the world right now and we're seeing why right here as he takes Saban up oh right on the stomach. And let's see if AJ Styles can rebound from kind of a bad luck poor luck he's having here in Ring of Honor getting stripped of the Ring of Honor tag team titles here as we found that out just recently. It's kind of a shame that his partner Red's out. We wish him the best of luck in his recovery, but hopefully you never know, AJ Styles can pick another partner and maybe go for those titles as well. That's right, AJ Styles, there's, he can do whatever he wants with his abilities in the future, maybe focus on the world title, maybe focus on getting the tag titles right now, but Chris Saban has to focus on getting out of the ring from Samoa Joe, because Joe is just eating them up. That's right, and AJ Styles definitely showing what he's about, as we saw him earlier on, with with it, trying to teach maybe uh, with Jimmy Rave in the back before his match, maybe showing him a little, showing the ropes a little bit here in Ring of Honor. It's good to see that when the upper echelon guys try to share their knowledge with some of the younger guys, it's good to see here in Ring of Honor. AJ Styles and Jimmy Rave both came up in the Atlanta area, and you can definitely say AJ Styles has taken Jimmy Rave under his wing, as we saw earlier. And right now, Jay Briscoe working on that chin lock on Chris Saban. Saban firing back with the elbows. Saban, a block A Field of Honor member, the same block as Xavier and Matt Stryker and John Walters. Whipping Jay Briscoe in. Briscoe ducks. Saban catches him. Oh, backbreaker, nicely done. And Saban tags out to Samoa Joe. Beautifully executed as he tags in the hard hitting champion, Samoa Joe. And this does not bode well for Jay. Samoa Joe twisting Jay Briscoe, bullying him, turning him around, wrenching on that back. And ah, look at that angle he's got on him. The human body's not supposed to bend like that. I can assure you that, Chris. Oh, and right now, Jay Briscoe's thanking God that AJ Styles made that save. And Jay thanking AJ definitely. It's those two guys, no strangers in the ring as they've hooked it up three times earlier this year in tag team matches. And oh my goodness, Jay just dropped Samoa Joe viciously dropping Jay down on his knee, right in the lower back. Joe is just toying with the young Jay Briscoe right now as he's taking Jay up. Samoa Joe, what an opportunity he has to eliminate one of these men from ever being a challenger to that title. Joe, Samoa Joe, I mean, what a series of title matches he's had. Victories over Paul London. A non-title victory over CM Punk on the last show. BJ Whitmer, he's defending that belt against. The list goes on and on and on. Homicide. Uh, I mean, you name it, he's defeated him. And he just keeps adding the prestige of that title. And now he's got to start thinking about maybe his long-term health. Because, I mean, you've got to take a beating after that series of title matches. Oh, and look at that Muda lock AJ's got on Jay Briscoe. And Jay's got to think about getting to the, getting to the ropes. And there's Chris Saban breaking up the hold. A little different for a tag team match because you know if Mark was on the outside, that would have got broken up a lot quicker. You know, it's almost a Saban's benefit if you let that, let AJ keep that on for a little bit, trying to wear down one of the members of this match, one of the competitors. Maybe that's why he waited to break up the hold. And then maybe he sensed that perhaps Jay was in trouble and might be tapping, so he broke it up. I mean, 
You know, you, you gotta. There's so much to think about. The four corner survival match, you know, is very physical, but the mental aspect of a four corner survival match is, is up there, too. You gotta be pretty smart to be in these kind of matches to survive. Without a doubt, Joe hitting the ring, big elbow on Jay Briscoe. The Agile ROH champion drops a huge D. Goes for the cover, not enough. And what about Samoa Joe's ring attire? Something new here from the ROH champ. I haven't seen him wear this before. Well, uh, Capetta smartened me up to what was going on there before, and I, I'll, I'll let you in on it, Ray, if you want to know. Yeah, tell me. All of other Samoa Joe's attire is dirty. It's at the laundromat. And why would Capetta know about dirty laundry? Well, I'm not touching that one. Okay. But we are seeing a face wash here by Samoa Joe. Joe going into the ropes. Oh, the big boot. And Joe's just having fun in there with Jay Briscoe. Joe's smiling. You know, this is definitely a good stipulation in this match for Samoa Joe. If he can pin one of these guys, you know, eliminate your competition even before it becomes your competition almost. And oh, look at AJ stopping it with the clothesline. Does that count as a tag? I guess so. It is a tag. What a way to tag in. And it looks like the fun's over for Samoa Joe as he just got lit up by AJ real quick. And AJ capitalizing. Is he had nice strength there as he drops Jay down. Cover. I tell you what, I'm really enjoying seeing AJ Styles and Samoa Joe in the same match. This is pretty cool. I'd like, I would definitely like to see them in a singles match. Very rare opportunity here. You have the NWA champion and the ROH champion in the same match. Never mind the fact it's two of the best in the world in AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. But right now, Jay Briscoe has to be thinking about making a tag. He needs out, and there's Chris Saban tagging himself in from AJ Styles. I hope the ROH officials take heed to these one-on-one -on -one matchups here because there's definitely matches I'd like to see down the road. And Saban working on Jay, going for some kind of, wow, nice. Can you explain that to me, Chris? I can explain. It's a very painful stretch, and now upside down, so the blood is rushing to Jay Briscoe's head. Very devastating move by Chris Saban. Jay Briscoe taking an inhuman amount of punishment by all three men. Cover. Jay Briscoe's got to get the tag soon, or he's going to be pinned. If you're Samoa Joe, though, you don't want anybody else to get the pin on Jay Briscoe, because not only do you suffer the embarrassment of being the world champion and, and not winning the match, but you're going to be faced with one of these men in Baltimore on October 16th. However, Samoa Joe, he can't afford to be pinned. I, I, it's just a lot of combinations going on here. And Samoa Joe, he's the ROH champion, and the other three individuals, none of them are in the top five. And this is such a high-profile match. I guarantee the winner of this match, you know, if it's not Samoa Joe, will definitely skyrocket in the top five. Well, what an opportunity for Chris Saban. He thought that he was wrestling Oman Tortuga tonight, and he walks in, and after what happened with Homicide, giving up his spot in this match, he stepped right into it. AJ Styles, a definite top title contender. Jay Briscoe looking to firmly establish his spot in ROH one more time. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. That's Chris Saban, and in the wrong place right there was Jay Briscoe, as he just got neckbreaker and almost threw the mat. Come on! And Saban following up. Jay Briscoe in a lot of trouble here. His body looks limp almost to the ground. After you've been beaten on by Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, and Chris Saban, how can it be anything but limp? But Jay Briscoe showing that heart, showing that courage, trying to fight back. He's close to Samoa Joe. No, ops not to tag out. Instead, maybe going for one more big move. Underneath goes Saban. Saban in Zaguri. What a great athlete Chris Saban is, an exciting competitor, a man who will make an impact in the field of honor, as now he's hooking up Jay, hits him with a nice vertical suplex. And you notice Chris Saban's in no hurry to tag out. He, he, he maybe he's thinking he's close to getting the pin here. But he was drawing with the crowd there. He might be telegraphing this move here, Chris. And I was right, Saban taking too much time on the top rope as he missed no water in the pool. And Jay Briscoe desperately needs a tag. Jay Briscoe, he's got to get it. He's got to understand where he is in that ring. He's got to know where the corners are. He's got to know who's in what corner. And most importantly, he's got to make that tag. And he's inching closer to AJ Styles. Wow, Jay Briscoe tagging, out, tagging in AJ Styles. Who thought they'd ever see that? AJ ripping into Chris Saban. One lariat, two lariats. And lariats them outside to the floor. And we have Joe and AJ in there one more time. Back and forth. Joe probably wanting to get back at AJ for what happened before. AJ ducks, Joe ducks, and Zaguri. And Joe didn't miss on that one. And like a shark with blood in the water, look at Samoa Joe. 
You know what it might be time for? Well, I know what time it is. Ole, 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 ole. Sing that almost as well as Joe. Samoa Joe taking the face of the NWA champion right off with that boot. Uh-oh, he's signaling for one more time. One of the most devastating moves in ROH. And unfortunately for AJ Styles, he's in a whole hell of a lot of trouble here, Chris. And the fans in Boston loving this action. Look at Chris Saban out of nowhere, shoulder blocking Joe. Where the hell did he come from? He just speared Joe right into the guardrails, right into that steal. The Ole Ole kick backfiring on Samoa Joe. And now AJ faking out Saban, hitting him with that super kick. And what devastation we're seeing on the floor. Almost like a car wreck on the interstate right here. And Joe and AJ exchanging hard slaps on the outside. Here's Saban. Uh-oh. He probably wishes he didn't walk into the middle of that. And Jay Briscoe soars over the top rope. Beautiful high-flying maneuver there by Jay Briscoe. Taking out all three of his competitors there in one blow. It's picking up. You know, Jay Briscoe, see, he goes right for the ROH World Champion. He knows that if he can upset Samoa Joe right here, not only will he get a title shot against possibly Joe or Chris Daniels, but you know, uh, the, imagine the mind games of Samoa Joe. Imagine the mental state of Samoa Joe if he's pinned by somebody like Jay Briscoe. And Jay firing back with some chops, returning the punishment that he received earlier. Joe's looking a little sluggish, and he'll be even more sluggish after that big boot to the face. And that big boot just rocked the ROH champion. Jay Briscoe, he's got to follow up. He's got the champion staggered. Once again into the corner. And Samoa Joe plants him down. My goodness. I thought Jay was going to go straight through the canvas on that one. What impact. Uh-oh, Joe looking to fall it up. High impact powerbomb cover. Two count into the SDF. We've seen this before. Can Jay Briscoe hang on after all the punishment he's taken in this one? He is trying to inch towards those ropes. Two guys on the floor. Maybe one of them can make the save. Jay, though, reaches the ropes. Rep Hansen right on top of it, calling for the break. And what a showcase of wrestling superstars we're seeing here in the middle of this ring. These four competitors are showing me something, Chris. Samoa Joe better not be looking past Chris Daniels at Glory by Honor 2. The destiny might be for Samoa Joe to lose this match. AJ now whipping the RH World Champion in, trying for a monkey flip. Joe pushes off. Joe underneath AJ. AJ goes. Oh, he catches Joe. Didn't get him all the way, but enough to take the World Champ off his feet. Now we have a cover. AJ almost won with that inverted DDT, but falling a little bit short right here. But he's got Joe down. AJ Styles so explosive with that offense, executes it with so much force and velocity. He's one Styles clash away from winning this match. Samoa Joe, he could be looking for the chokehold as now Saban in. Saban taking AJ, scoops him up, spins him around. AJ though, not getting out of the hold. Saban taking him out, perhaps a Death Valley driver. Oh, drops him into a power bomb. Wow, nice move by the athletic Chris Saban. A Death Valley driver into a power bomb. Beautifully done. Here's Jay Briscoe now. He's up. Saban must die. And Jay's got him up, making him think about it. And drops him down. And Joe breaks it up. But boy, what a feather in the cap if you could pin the NWA champion as well. Remember, AJ, he's got a lot to lose as well. You're right about that one, but we got a Jay Driller tap. If he can get him. Can he get the big man up? No, Joe gets out of it. Joe now takes, it, takes Jay down. Rolling cradle by the champion. What versatility there by the champion as AJ Styles just broke up that pinning combination. The NWA champ breaking up the ROH champ's pinfall attempt, and now we're seeing him go at it. AJ, oh, there's that discus lariat. Joe's down. That lariat just rocked the champ. And what's he setting up for, Chris? AJ going up. Oh, oh, slips a little bit. That's okay. 
was one of the best, but what an incredible effort by AJ Styles. He managed to turn that into a leg drop. Did you see him connect with the leg drop? And what a collision right there. What skill by AJ Styles taking a messed up move and turning it into a potent offensive move, but he's a little shaken up in the process. And that's what separates the greats from the rest. As he turned a minus into a positive right there. That's why guys like that are champions. And Saban gets caught in Styles class. No. Forearm. And Styles going for a crucifix. He, he's got him down. Look, look, Styles Clash. Styles Clash, here it is. He's got it. That's AJ it. Styles is going to Baltimore against Daniels or Joe. Oh. And Samoa Joe breaks it up. What position in there by the RH champion. He just saved the match. And what's Joe setting up for, Chris? This is going to be bad news for Saban. It could be. Oh, it is that big lariat. Saban's going to be out after taking all that. But look, there's Jay Briscoe. He just knocked the ROH World Champion off his feet. And Jay Briscoe just knocked the NWA Champion off his feet. And Jay Briscoe single-handedly beating up the champions right here. But look at Saban recover for a low blow. That had to be a desperation move by Chris Saban. Small package. No, AJ breaks it up. Chris Saban after the Styles Clash and Lariat. That low blow had to be a desperation move as his head has to be spinning. As there you see, AJ's working over Saban. Joe working over Daniel. Oh, look at that! Double insecurity by the world champs. And Jay has a day. Saban takes him up. Jay Chiller pulls him into the middle of the ring cover. And Jay Briscoe's victorious.